With the Advantech subfloor assembly, you can be sure that you're building a reputation on something stronger. And the best builders, well, they may always stand apart, but they never stand alone. So ask yourself, are you bringing your A-game? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Before the Build series. Today, we're going to embark on a subset of a series of videos, and we're going to start talking about that cantilever deck. It's one of the highlights of the project, and uh, absolutely love it. It, uh, I guess you could say, it completes the project. And uh, there's an awful lot of thinking and detailing that went into that and the construction of it and the execution of uh, fabricating it and installing it. It, uh, yeah, a lot of work, a lot of collaborative effort, all involved in that. So anyways, I'm a good friend, Big Red. Got uh, some details here. Let's start talking about that cantilever deck. Hey everybody, so here is the elevation, side elevation of the deck. I thought we'd use this one to break out some of the thoughts behind that deck. So as you can see here, here is that board formed concrete pier. We talked about those in an earlier video. If you haven't watched it, go back, check it out. A bunch of reinforcing in there, a bunch of stirrups in there. That, and then those Four bolts per pier, two piers. Legend of eight bolts, as my buddy uh, Mark Willie would call it. So, we have that. We have this post here. You can see that's an eight by eight, quarter inch thick. And look at, we sloped the top. Give me a second to think about why. Well, we don't want any water sitting up there. We don't want any flat surfaces that can corrode or become durability uh, liabilities. So we slope that and it's only a half an inch over eight inches. So it's not a lot, but it's enough to move water off the top of it and have it fall off. Remember the house is framed in here, basically right down there. We have our sheathing on there. So there's, the gap here is probably something like about an inch plus. So, but the deck is totally, it's a cantilever, but it's also fully thermally broken. And what does thermally broken means mean? It means that there is no physical connection to the house. Now, I guess you could argue there's this kind of thermal connection, but it's a, it's a little bit of a stretch for me. But the deck here is not a cantilever deck that comes out. It's totally self-supportive. And like I said, these two large eight by eight posts anchor it to the concrete. And then as a bridge, we have this four by 12 that runs in between the posts. So it's built basically like a goal post. And then we have these angles come out to here and then they taper. And remember from our very first video, if you haven't seen it, right? We wanted to have that taper up here down next to nothing. And here we have four inches because it matches our roof taper here up above us to give us that kind of building disintegrating into the air off into the view right and then we have basically a piece of plate steel three eighths inch plate steel that as at the end and that emphasizes the taper so that comes all the way back and that has the tapered look. So that's basically what your eye is following. The angles in back, they start out at seven inches and run flat, and then they go into the taper when they're, the taper is less than the seven inches. And then we have a 
series of these brackets here. They're knife-like and some minimal connections there, there, and there. Here that goes to back to the big frame. And then we have a tube frame here. And then it has a series of stainless steel rods that actually make up the balusters. And then of course that is complete with a piece of wood on the top there, piece of wood on the top there. We have our frame that goes around here. Those are all equally spaced. We have our rods here. And we'll get into that railing in detail in these drawings, but I just wanted to give you the, the quick overview. So yes, there is nothing under here. So it is only supported. Eight bolts, two columns, one giant tube goes to a bunch of seven inch, 24 inch on center steel angles that basically fly out into the air. They go out about eight foot two. We have about another foot back here. So the deck is roughly about nine foot in depth. So, and it's, uh, I don't know, it's probably nine foot by about 16 foot in width. So very sizable deck and it uh, completes the view. So, hey, stay tuned. Get a nice little slideshow here. Took some uh, photos during construction and uh, we'll share those up with you. Enjoy.